guys, I just encountered a witch house. Um, I don't know what to do. But I'm going in. One shot at me. Oh no. Oh well. Well, I was planning on doing a video. Anyways. So we're gonna do that. Always day we're gonna need this. I don't need to keep my inventory when I it's not uh today's episode going to um roll type flat and we're gonna show you how to make a um village well I could put everything in there later If you want like villagers to do jobs for you, you can. settings now what you gotta do is if you don't like to be greeted by them at the start before you unclose that the mob spawning then you'll have to hurry do it as soon as you make the world because as you could see when it starts that they already spawn then hmm. build the frame of the house And then there's I don't know what I like to design this house. So if you want, you can follow off this video and take this house like it, it really is, it, if it help you, like it can help you if you want to build a nice looking house. You know? To me, I'm trying to make it look nice, I don't know exactly if it's going to look nice at first, but I don't know what it's at. Glass panes. If you're gonna use any glass and if you wanna use it nicely, glass panes are going to be your way to go. 
This is what I like to do. Not in every video, though. On Minecraft. One more bomb. And then when you know like a villager, they know you have like the cobblestone stairs. Hopefully we don't need porches. Cause it's already daytime and we got class. Cause I put so much now know that at night with this you don't own any torches, it ain't gonna be the best. Okay. okay average door. That right there so far is the house tutorial. And then you can grab a bed. Let's say we want a. Who do we want? Hmm. What profession do I want to give him? Or is there one for a class furnace? I want a blacksmith. What would a blacksmith have? Yes, yeah, smithing table. And all you gotta do give like a decoration make them feel good with the place that he's at and then you could let's say I wanna you could just fresma for What I'm looking for at can't find, I can't seem to see it. Sorry, at this my dog's in the background. Okay, say we want to give him a rose. All you gotta do, give him a rose and there. And since we've done about every. His profession is in here. He likes to go to his profession. So. He takes his. Now he's a toolsmith. So you get your weapons out of him. He works there. Kinda simple, huh? See, he's moving tables, you could tell. So, what does he want? Colon evidence. You could also name them like certain names. It's really, really cool. But it's too bad he don't. I don't think he know, takes charcoal. He wanted coal. Oh, I'm not gonna take one coal. I want at least some stacks of it. Two stacks of emeralds. You make a fair trade with him.
See, he's happy. And then what you can do is you could hand him off. So you don't want a decoration, right? You give him that. You give him a chest, and now I have an axe. So now. So now. I can remove all of this. Well, I can move as much as I can in my inventory. And then you can eliminate all the stuff that you got from them. Let's say you want to keep two axes. I can keep the two axes. And our smither is a level two. So if we do that, we can unlock his trade for a iron axe. If you want to keep this item, you keep this item. I gotta go buy another bell from him. He wants iron for emeralds. That's because he needs the iron to make that trade, so. I'll take one stack of it. And then you can use the emeralds you get from that to get the other ones. Fair, right? Hello, buddy, you want to trade? And diamond for an emerald, which is a very, which could necessarily be a very unfair trade. But, of course he likes to trade. So we get a thing of emeralds. I'm just going to take this like sample. It's only the trade that for the emerald. I'm going to trade that. I'm going to trade that. I'm going to trade that. And you, and this one owns the diamond pickaxe, with efficiency two. We got efficiency two shovel. We got a bell from him. We got iron axes from him, and then we could just give him this stuff as a reward. And don't worry if he does this. Like as I said, it, see he'll come out of it. That's a good thing about glass panes. It's not like a full block that he could get stuck into. And he works. For me. See? He's cool, ain't he? He works for me. The big boss, dude. Alright. What's this for you notice me? And then, if you want, you can do whatever. So we have a master. A 
takes Flint for certain things. Flint and Cole, he trades a diamond for an emerald, which is crazy because there's not a thing where you could trade an emerald for a diamond. So, and diamonds, which we need the diamond to make the shovel. Say we want another one. We can make another neighbor. This time you don't have to make a very good house. Like honest, it doesn't have to be perfect. Like I said, make one out of acacia planks. No. Wait, does he have a? Did that just show? Up? He got a diamond. Just he's got a diamond. Makes him happy. I will say, if you get an anvil, you can name them. So, I want to name this guy something. So I want to name you. We're going to name you. Let's see, we want this. Bob. You gonna come outside? Just build another house. Like I said, it doesn't have to be like all that perfect. You don't even have to have a door. You just need somewhere to be. I like this. Good. And then you put them in here. Let's see, we want a farmer. He's. We get another bed. We place the bed down. Let's see, we want. And then all I need is. Those are spawning. Okay, good. He didn't witness it, so my trades will be kind of normal. See, he wants certain things for it. And he can honestly walk out. Now, I like to, like, give them a nice home. And when I make one, I like to make a master. So... least deserves a door. Like, sometimes his building stuff, he wants privacy. No, I don't seem like a lot of privacy right there. But... He will walk off, but he will not go far from where his... Uh... least want some more friend to be able to walk. Now some can be met with villagers. All you gotta do is kill them. But they're but they're that annoying. I put a lot more effort in the last house, but I'm at least trying to make a house for them. I'm going to for your roof, buddy. I'm just going to give you glass on the roof. That'd be kind of easy. I 
I think you'll be fast like this. Like that fast. I see you wanna give him just glass. Now if you're trying to make a roof out of it. He deserves the right. Now, he's at least gonna need room for himself. Like, he's right here, I could just, yeah. So you at least need it four block. You need the, if you want a house that's gonna work, you need it at least on a four, like, height, four block height. That three blocks, your roof is gonna hit the three and then you only have two to move around in. And his character's about two blocks tall, so, his character's two blocks tall, then he won't be able to jump. He won't be able to get on a bed. He won't be able to. Yeah, at least gotta give him the necessities. I at least gotta be nice to him. Now, of course, if you're that kind of person who enslaves them, this is an easier way, like, to keep them in place. They'll stay. I could, like, walk around. Like bulbs in there just fine. Dan. Yeah, Dan. These are the tutorials. On now you can make them the same exact as mine, give them the same name, just import them into this. But, you know, if you want, you create your own. It's better if you create your own. But, you know, when you're bored, search up Minecraft tutorial and you'll just see a lot of things that will keep you not bored. Actually, I found out that you could do this pretty recent with a stay. So I could just build, like, Bob Dan's house. So I can make, like, a. So that is a tutorial on how to Minecraft, how to villager. Minecraft tutorial, how to make villagers work for you. All right guys.